In the book of Acts, there were two groups of people that were brought together by the gospel. These two groups of people had a lot of differences between them, Jew and Gentile. The Jewish people were steeped in the scripture. They knew God's law. The Gentiles were those who were considered apart, separate, excluded perhaps. And yet, God intervenes and sends angels to bring messages of unity between folk who had previously been separate. Who was I, says Peter, to withhold the water of baptism for those who had received the Holy Spirit just as we had? Peter is questioned for behaving in this new way. Peter is challenged for inviting Gentiles into the new church. And he defends himself by saying that he was only acting as a part of what God was already up to. It was God that brought the people together in unity, and he just had to get out of the way. Our country finds itself in a time of division, a time when differences are being highlighted, when there seems to be a lack of unity. We pray deeply that these divisions will be healed, and that justice will be brought to those who have struggled to find justice. As a part of this, our church, our congregation, First Lutheran, affirms deeply and prayerfully the statement released by the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America concerning white supremacy and racism, which I would like to read to you now. White supremacy is racism, and we condemn it. Violent rhetoric against persons of color in the name of so-called Christian nationalism is not a true Christian faith. It is idolatry, and we condemn it. The love of God is for all people without exception, and we proclaim it. The justice and mercy of God are for all people, without exception, and we proclaim this. Our religious and political leaders have a moral responsibility to condemn racist rhetoric and to speak with respect for the innate dignity of all persons, regardless of their race, ethnicity, national origin, immigration status, or faith tradition, and we call our leaders to honor this responsibility. Language that refers to people of color or immigrants with words like invasion or infestation or white replacement is racism, and we condemn it. We are called by Jesus to love our neighbors as ourselves. As persons called to love one another as God has loved us, we therefore proclaim our commitment to speak with one voice against racism and white supremacy. We stand with those who are targets of racist ideologies and actions. With them, we demand and will advocate for a more just, loving, and peaceful world where the gifts of all people are appreciated and the lives of all people are treasured. And we call all congregations of the ELCA to engage in communal study of the structures and rhetoric that empower and fuel racism and white supremacy and to take heart the teaching of scriptures so that we may all be better equipped to speak boldly about the equality and dignity of all persons in the eyes of God. Even in the face of division and unrest and injustice, may we give thanks to God for God's wisdom which he places in our hearts as he gathers us together as the church. And may we be bold to say what is right and condemn what is wrong. Thanks be to God for bringing us together as church, and may God bring peace to our country.